My name's Cliff Eaton and I'm a Chartered Physiotherapist. I'm a long-standing clinical specialist with a remit to promote the effective use of electrophysical agents across the world. Today's tip is how to use the 2 plus 2 feature on the Chattanooga Muscle Stim. The Chattanooga Muscle Stim comes with four channels. But using the 2 plus 2 feature, we can split those into two channels and two channels. So we can use that for treating different body parts, but also using different programs. So for example, I may use uh, one for muscle stim and one for pain relief. Now I have a patient here complaining of patellofemoral joint pain. We've determined that they've got quite um, weak or reduced tone in their vastus medialis and vastus lateralis has become quite dominant affecting uh, the tracking of his patella. But what we've also found is that he's not re recruiting glute med as a stabiliser. So if we can just demonstrate, so if I could ask you to do a single leg stand for me and just show everybody just a small knee bend how you would down and now you can see that this patient is going into Gina, Gina Vara and come up for me. Now what we're going to do is encourage the, the, the patient to recruit um, their uh, glute med first. So we're going to provide a simp simply an afferent stimulus. We don't need to get the muscle to, to fire. We've tested it, it's actually strong. It's just not recruiting it. So we're going to provide an afferent stimulus by using a low frequency, the endorphinic program, which works at five hertz. Simply going to provide a sensory stimulus through the skin to the brain, which then will provide an efferent stimulus to the muscle. So I'm just turning that up now. Just tell me when you can feel it. Okay. Have it quite strong but not uncomfortable. And I'll just leave that running for a few seconds. Normally in a treatment, I'll leave that going a couple of, couple of, of minutes just to get the brain used to feeling that activating. And now I'm going to recruit, use a muscle stim program called Disuse Atrophy, which works at 35 hertz on his vastus medialis. Can you feel that now? Okay. Now, okay, as that's contracting now, I'd like to, you to slowly repeat that no, knee bend. We hold this seven seconds and then slowly come back up. Now, thank you. Just do that again for me. Wait, three, two, one, and go down. And on the second time, look, it's even better. Three, two, one, and come back up. And I'll press pause. Now, I've not given the patient any instruction there. I haven't said to them, keep, keep your pelvis in a line, keep your hip, knee, and second toe in a line, because this is putting everything in the conscious part of the brain, and we call that an external focus. And this was researched by Benjamin's, Benjamin, sorry, um, in 2015. And she demonstrated that if we use an internal focus, let our brain work out the correct movement, then we can take this much better into function. So with the help of our muscle stim, I'm using that as an internal focus to teach the brain what is the correct movement pattern.